Welcome class. I'm glad to see everyone at their seats, paying attention and ready to learn. Johnny, may I have your eyes on me? Let's go over some housekeeping plans uh, before we start today's lesson. Just a reminder, we have back to school night this Tuesday. And we worked real hard on your portfolios to present to your parents. And some of you need to help me finish those up. So the last 10 minutes of class today, we're going to look over our portfolios. And if you have not finished them, we'll do them during a tutoring time today. I'd like to thank the RAM group for their help they gave me on today's lesson on adding fractions with uncommon denominators together. It was a big help to me and we'll hope you'll gain knowledge from today's lesson. Just a reminder of the horse group where you'll be helping me today on preparing a test over this week's lesson. Now yesterday we talked about adding fractions with common denominators. Who would like to come up to the board and work on a problem? Debbie, you have your hand up and are quiet. Please come up to the board and let's add uh, one-fifth plus two-fifth. Class, is she correct? Mark, thank you for having your hand up and not answering out without being called on. Yes, Mark, Debbie is correct with three-fifths. And she made the fraction in her simplest form. Thank you, Debbie. You can sit down now. Today, we're going to add fractions with uncommon denominators. I'm going to show you how to paint a picture to use on solving adding uncommon denominators together. Now, there are no pictures on the tax test, but I'm going to show you how to use your own pictures to solve fractions problems for this week's test and the tax. Now, let's take out a notebook paper, pencil, ruler, and fraction sheet. Just a reminder, there are, uh, we are not allowed to use our rulers on the tax test. You will use your pencils for the ruler on the tax test. We're going to draw models of fractions and change them to equal parts in order us to uh, add them together. Let's do one together. Follow along as I make fraction strips on the board. Draw two fraction strips on your paper. On your paper, combine one-third and one-fourth and see what it equals to. Now on the side of this one paper, let's on the top one draw one-third. On the bottom one, one-fourth. Divide uh, the strips into equal parts. Always make sure your parts are equal. Shade in the one-third and the one-fourth on your strip. Think about this. How can we make both fractions so that they have equal parts in their denominators? Take out your fraction strip and use your ruler to find out what fractions on the fraction strip chart one-third and one-fourth have in common. We see one-third has six and twelve in common. Now we see that one-fourth has eight and twelve in common. We are able to eliminate eight and six, six since neither one of them have uh, eight and six in them as a common denominator. So 12 is the common denominator. Now, if you look at your fraction strip chart, using your ruler, you can see that 1 third is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 twelfths. And 1 fourth is equal to 1, 2, 3 twelfths. Rename this on the paper. Uh, rename this on the paper. Four twelfths, three twelfths. Now draw these lines on one third and one fourth on your blank strip. After we we draw our pieces and count the shaded parts, what do we get? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. That's correct. One third plus one fourth equals seven twelfths. We now know that adding one third and one fourth is seven twelfths. Now we have to think about this. Is this fraction in its simplest form? Mary? Yes, Mary, you're correct. It is in its simplest form. But how do we know that? Jesse? Great, Jesse. One clue that it's seven is a prime number and can only be divided by one and itself. Are there any other reasons? Juan. Right, Juan. Twelve is not divisible by seven. We know our answer in the simplest form is seven twelfths. Wow, class, you're really paying attention and learning. Let's do another one together. This time, I'm going to have some of you come up to the board and work on the problems. Who would like to come up first? All right, Margaret and Joe, come on up here. All right, very good, Margaret and Joe Chanky. Go ahead and sit down. All right, now I have another question for you. Can anyone find any other way of solving this problem without using your fraction strip sheet? Okay, Michael, please come up to the board and show the class how to do it. 